Like, I hate this bike. This is not for me. Hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. That ain't the gym, bro. The fuck am I doing here? That ain't no gym. Oh my god. Alright, boys. Made a wrong turn. Ended up here. It's 8 a.m. and this place is not even open. So let's fucking do this, bro. <laughs> Starting to rev it a little bit higher in the RPMs, bro. And it sounds amazing. Mm. Alright, anyway guys, what's popping? What's going on? I hope you guys liked the, uh, the last video. When I went to the first ever little bike night. My first ever little bike night at Cycle Gear. That was some fun times. Met a lot of new people. Uh, let's take a ride to the gym, shall we? By the way, guys. I know I've been complaining a lot about the AirPods. I know I've been complaining a lot about the AirPods, so I got myself a Cardo Pack Talk Edge. It's coming on Friday, so I can't wait to install it in the helmet. The reason why I got it is because I had an interaction with some girl in her car. It was a very cute girl, and I couldn't hear a word she was saying, bro. I was just like, what? What's, what'd you say? Here's the interaction, if you guys want to see it, right now. What's up? I, thank you. I can't hear. Yo, I have. I can't hear you. Take down my number. Take down my number. You ready? Text me. Text me. All right. Man, I couldn't hear a word she was saying, so I got myself a Cardo. I think it's just <clears throat> a safety thing, because if I can't hear, and I have my AirPods going, I have no way of turning it off with like my watch or my phone. It just becomes a safety issue, bro, because you can't hear shit. If you can't hear shit, someone's trying try to talk to you, someone's trying to honk at you. It's just bad news, so I got myself a Cardo Pack Talk Edge, because it'll just be easier to turn off the music whenever someone's talking to me. Shit. I had a couple of things to talk to you about today. What was it, bro? Here we go, guys. Here we fucking go. Five things that I hate about the ZX6R. I really had to get into the mentality where I was like, I hate this bike. This is not for me. And it was very hard because uh, some of the points you'll see, I'm very, I'm starting to like nitpick a little bit, but don't get me wrong, bro. I love this bike. I absolutely love this bike, bro. And this is a hard video to to uh to film or to do number five number five on the list is that it just has too much fucking power bro this is a what is it a 636 cc bike and i don't know if you live in a city or in the suburb area where it's kind of busy where you see cars in front of you all the time it's way too much power for for commuting or whatever you're gonna do with a bike except for if you take it to the track right or the highways if you're doing like a highway pull or uh anything like that if you're riding early in the morning or a little bit later at night then you could use a little bit more of the power band but as you can see in my videos bro i'm in like stop and go traffic 90 percent of the time so uh with all the power that the 636 cc's give you you don't even really use it if you live in the city right so that's number point number five for me that's a pretty big one is how unusable the power is especially in a big city number five point number five it has too much power all right all right guys point number four practicality the practicality of this bike is uh you know it's not very practical if you're looking for a bike to commute on guys and you're commuting on every day depends on how long your commute is right because i'm not gonna lie even though i said that this bike can 
be a commuter and it can also be a track bike for me it is it is slightly uncomfortable at red lights i, st I tend to sit up a little bit and and do all that stuff to get myself a little bit more give my back a little break if i stay hunched over all the time my back is just gonna be sore after 30 minutes right point number four practicality is not very practical because the riding position is so aggressive on this bike and obviously this bike isn't the most aggressive but it is still pretty aggressive your, your legs are all tucked in there and, and you're hugging the gas tank like it's your last day on earth but you know for me it works because back on wood i haven't had any back problems or anything like that so for me it works but i can see it being very uncomfortable after you know after just even like a 30 minute ride I can see how this can get really, really uncomfortable. I go on with practicality. There's no trunk space on this thing. So with me, I, I just I just have a backpack with me all the time. But if you're planning on, you know, carrying anything small or anything, bro, you're gonna have to get like accessories or something because the trunk on this, uh, there is no trunk. There's there's not there's nothing that you, you can put it like a piece of paper in there uh, under the back seat, but that's about it. Uh, along with that, I'm just gonna throw in the radius in which the handlebars turn is very, it sucks, bro. I do realize that when I'm making a full lock turn, within like a half an inch of turning to the right or the left, it's already full lock. So uh, that's just one, my, one of my observations. So that was point number four. Point number three is the looks of the stock ZX6R or the stock 636. Now I'm nitpicking here a little bit, but you know, the looks of this thing, uh, don't get me wrong. The bike looks amazing. It looks absolutely amazing. But the couple of things that I didn't like on the bike when it was stock, one, the exhaust. Uh, I'll post a, a picture of how the exhaust looks with this bike stock. Uh, it's a huge metal chrome piece, I think. Uh, it looks better in black, but man, that chrome really just messes up all of my vibes, bro. I told myself when I was getting this, I was like, I'm changing out that exhaust right away because it doesn't, it just doesn't look good. So Kawasaki, if you look at the 600RR, that exhaust, I think, comes out of the tail of the bike, which is fucking sick as shit. I don't know, bro. I, I I do like the I do like the exhaust coming out of the tail a little bit more, and that's what made me fall in love with the Honda CBR. Uh, I think the 600 RR and the 1000 does that, but the, those CBRs, man, they look good with the exhaust coming out of the back. So that's one thing. The other thing is this fucking digital gauge or this, this digital screen that they give you. It's very, I, I feel like it's very outdated and maybe it's just because I'm a tech guy, but it's very outdated, bro. So if you are spending $11,000 on a bike, right? I mean, Kawasaki, give us give us something, man. Give us some some colors or something. Uh, when I'm watching back videos, this this uh, this screen is like a, on at five frames per second. It takes a little bit to like update, which you know it's negligible, but it's something that I notice when I'm editing videos. You know, I, bro, I had a TI eighty three that had better graphics than this. I know Aprilia has a very nice like electronic screen and all that. I think the 650s also have like a nice like colored screen, you know? Like, you know what I do like, guys, is that the RPM gauge or the tachometer, how it's kind of just uh, an analog gauge. I like that. I like, I, I really like how they did that. But this portion, man, like, like bro, give me, give me some colors, man. Uh, give me something. But when did they, when did they refresh the 636, guys? Did they refresh it? 2019 so maybe it's a little too early to put you know like a colored screen in there but that's something that they should have done man it's just a little too outdated for me the gauge cluster uh it's a little bit of an eyesore but i do like the analog uh tachometer like i said that is point number three guys point number three i mean it's a little bit nitpicky because it's you know how this how the zx6r looks stock but something uh that's something that you know you kind of have to consider if you're not planning on modding your bike go, go.
wasn't going fast there, bro, but damn, that woke me up a little bit. Hell yeah. You guys didn't see, but I actually dragged my knee there. Time for the last two. The last two is pretty, uh, pretty important, especially if you're a beginner biker or a beginner motorcycle rider. I don't think these really are limited to the ZX6R, but these are just, uh, you know, some things that I noticed in riding the ZX6R. Now, you know, it's probably applicable to most motorcycles, but uh, like I said, guys, it was very hard to make this video, so give me a fucking break, all right? Nice. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so, point number two, guys. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll have to wait. 16 miles per hour, you see that? I was only going 16 miles per hour, bro. All right, so uh, point number two, this thing is a money pit. It is a dark hole where you just throw your cash in it. So, yeah, I mean, uh, that's just not limited to the ZX6R, right? Like, if you get a bike, you have to be in that mentality that, you know, if you want to mod it, insurance, cost of the bike, etc. You know what I'm saying? So uh, you got to factor all of that in when you're getting uh, a bike, especially in a ZX6R maybe, uh, just because... you're gonna want to do shit with your bike right you ain't gonna keep it stock forever uh, that goes along with the previous point i don't really like the stock uh the stock exhaust that that the bike comes with so i mean for most people that's going to be step number one and those exhausts i mean they're not they cost a pretty penny bro even a slip-on number two definitely a big money pit be aware of that guys because you are going to go online and all of a sudden you have a cart that's worth two thousand dollars and then by the time you know it you're picking up the package from your front door so that's something to be aware of guys this thing is a money poot and even if you don't do all that you know you gotta factor in insurance like i said and then the cost of the bike these bikes aren't uh, aren't cheap bro i mean if you get like a a used one that's you know kind of like a bit older then you can get a cheap uh a cheap zx6r but brand new man this costs eleven thousand dollars so definitely not cheap and then point number one guys is the fact that it attracts so much attention and again with this point it's not just the zx6r it's any any bike really it just it's just attracts so much attention uh, you know it could be a good thing right the good thing is it attracts car enthusiasts motorcycle enthusiasts you're gonna meet a lot of people but the biggest the biggest car enthusiasts and motorcycle enthusiasts there's such big enthusiasts that they are willing to take that shit away from you and that ladies and gentlemen is the cops the cops are the biggest problem here that you will attract their attention no matter what especially when you decide to get that exhaust it's loud it's fast is it there's like a fire bro Holy shit! Holy shit, bro! There's a fire on the expressway. My God! What the hell, bro? If you are driving, be aware. Do not throw your cigarette butts out the window, bro. Especially when there's brush and shit. Oh my God! The smoke is I smell the smoke through my helmet. Uh, anyway, guys. I probably shouldn't have done that. I felt the rear tire skip it a little bit. Sheesh. What was I saying? Oh yeah, it attracts the cops, bro. The cops will look. <laughs> I 
it attracts the cops, bro. It attracts a lot of a lot of people. It'll get eyes on you. So if there are cops going like the other way, let's say, you gotta make sure that they don't turn around on your ass, because they will. Especially when you're speeding. Yeah, that guy was holding ass. So especially when you're speeding and your bike is loud and your bike looks fast, especially the ZX-6R, if you get it in the KRT edition, that lime green just screams, I'm a fucking, I'm a fucking crazy fuck, bruh. Come look at me. You know what I'm saying? That's number one. It attracts so much attention. So uh, those are the five things that I fucking hate about this bike. Uh, like I said, guys, that was, that was hard as fuck. I, I, don't, I don't know, bro. I almost... Like I said before in another video, that could have been probably a short because uh, I don't really like dislike anything about this bike. I fucking love it, bro. It is one of the best things that I've ever invested in. All right, guys. Well, that is the end of the video. Like I said, I read all of your comments, all of you crazy fucks. So leave me a comment below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Right. Peace. Go, go. Every single day I'll be making moves Till I'm buried